Judd, good win, and you've got your scoring boots on in this one. Four centuries. Yeah, it was it was strange really because I didn't feel like I played that well, um, but the scoring was there. I could have had a couple more. Um, so yeah, it's it's hard to take really. Sometimes when you when you're out there playing, you can be a little bit critical on yourself. So. Um, I think my brother, when I spoke to him, he said I was playing good stuff, playing solid. And um, I think against Dave, you, you just take any kind of win. I, I think he's such a, a good player. And to be in the second round against him, um, I knew it was going to be a tough draw, but quite happy with, with just quietly going through the tournament and got into the last eight now. And I guess it's, it's no good playing blitz snooker in the first two rounds and then melting in the semi-finals. You know better than anyone, having won the title you've got to save your best till last. I mean, think about how well you had to play against John Higgins to get over the line. It's a long, long process to become the champion. Yeah, um, we're, we're not even at the halfway stage yet. So it's such a long event to, to play well for 17 days is, is very, very difficult. And um, kind of just hopefully saving my best. I know, I know it's nowhere near my best yet, but now is kind of the, the period you want to find some form and feel comfortable out there. Um, and be heading into that one table setup with, with a lot of confidence. There's so many people playing well in this event. I think everyone is very quietly confident of winning it themselves. And um, I think there's going to be some intriguing quarterfinal lineups. And, and a lot of the games, are, I'd say, are 50 50. Um, there's still a couple of people to, to get through tonight. But I mean, the, the way it's looking, um, anyone could probably win it. And looking ahead to your quarterfinal now, as we can do, Sean Murphy or Yan Bing Chao, Sean's in the ascendancy in that match at the moment, but either player would be a, a huge opponent. Murphy's putting some great long balls, and Yan Bing Chao proved winning the Masters that he's got the temperament for the big occasion and the big opposition. Yeah, they're both great players. I think I think Sean, for me, was due a run. Um, I think he's not had a great season, and... I think he loves being here at the World Championship. He loves being the centre of attention. He loves he loves the limelight, and I think that brings the best out of him. And with his game, is is he still plays like a like a kid kind of thing. He still when when the balls go in, he's intimidating. And there's only a handful of players that do that. Um, Jack Lazowski being one of them. It's, it's not comfortable playing someone that takes on everything because when it's going in, you can't leave them you can't leave them safe anywhere. So. I think he he's a very tricky uh, opponent to play if he does get through. Yang Bintao um, has already had a a great year. He's won the Masters. Um, he's one of the, the younger younger generation that's coming coming through at such a young age, and he's an amazing player. But just fancy Sean to get get through that one, and um, it will be a very tough game for me. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.